In this video, I will introduce how to use tabulate, which is the first step you will take to uh, to know your categorical variable. And I will also pre present a case study of how to use help file to learn your to learn the state command by yourself. Let's start from tabulate one way. The help file consists of several parts, but for the time being, we will just focus on syntax and later on example. T the state syntax can be decomposed, just as in any language, into different components. Tabulate is a verb. Variable name is a noun. If in wait and options are that verbs that describe the action. Let's go to the bottom of the help file example. Notice that any co uh, any uh, codes in black bold is executable in data. And this use that means the data set is stored in your local computer, and web use means the data is stored on web. So you can access. You have to have access to internet to use those. Uh, command uh, to use those command resources. So when you type in sys copy in sys use, it gives you the variable. You can see tabulate one region. Let's just follow the how far one by one, and I'll explain. So when you tabulate only one variable, it gives you the frequency distribution. This is the label of the variable. This is the frequency. This is a Percentage. This is a cumulative percentage. This is the label of the variable. I guess this is north, east, north, central, south, and west. When you have here after the tabulate the main command, the verb, and now you have a comma and a sort. This is called option. Sort is one kind of the option. Let's just see what sort has does. Okay, sort. What sort did is actually rank the variable according to percentage of the frequencies. So south is the first. Let's now learn to tabulate. This tabulate two way has two compare compare with tabulate one way has two nouns: variable name one and a variable name two. And the rest is about the same. Let's go to the example. So now we have a web use here. When you tabulate two variable, the first variable goes to the row ve the row vector. And the second variable goes to the column vector. This is the census region, which is the row vector. This is age category, which is a column vector. So this is a cell. This is a cumulative. This is a marginal uh, distribution for a uh, for age, and this is the marginal distribution for uh, census region. When you type in row, you will have a row percentage breakdown. So it's add up to 100 according to rows. Correspondingly, you will guess that it's called column, but you want to have a column breakdown. That is, add up to 100 by column. Or you can have cell. No frequency, which does not, which shield, shield out the frequency reporting, and only left with the percentage. The one question that one may ask, you won't be interested in that does the age category somehow correlated with census region, or they are independent? 
one way to ask the question is to compare the, con the conditional margin distribution with the margin distribution of the variable. To put it in a way that those who do not understand statistics can understand, say, this is a distribution of age category for the whole, popu for the whole population. This is the distribution of age category conditional on one lives in Northwest. Let's just see whether or not those are similar which turns out to be not so. But if you compare total with North Central and South, they are kind of similar. So you can argue either way. In that case, we need a formal test or a formal estimator that will tell you whether or not these two are actually correlated or independent. The test is called chi-square. For more about chi-square, I refer you to K Economy, uh, and uh, here I will just pr proceed with analysis without explaining too much of the underlying mass. The option is chi. We are looking for p-value here. The p-value meaning the probability that you will observe such a distribution if the age category is independent of the census region. 0 0.000 does not mean the probability is 0, but it means it's actually less than one tenth of a percent. So it is very unlikely we will observe such, such a pattern when in fact they are independent. So the fact that we actually observe such small, small probability things happen possibly mean that our hypothesis that they are independent are wrong. So we can reject that hypothesis.